Okay, so here we are, guys. Um, so basically, for you to know, I mean, wh wh why am I going to do this? Um, the main reason was basically, you know, I, I'm gonna build this white, uh, white PC. It's a, the white build, um, and then I wanted everything or almost everything to be like kind of white themed. Um, and then I found these really nice uh, memory units, the Corsair um, Dominator Platinum, 16 gigabyte, four by four, so four units uh, of four gigabytes each. Um, um, these units, which are already really cool, I mean, I love them, it's like a futuristic kind of thing, I, I've never seen anything like this. But remember, I don't build PCs for 10 years, so of course I haven't seen anything like this. The thing is, um, these ones come with this silver plate, and this silver plate basically has a LEDs, uh, I think it's a couple of LEDs uh, below. So uh, under below, uh, it has a couple of uh, white LEDs. So I thought, oh, this is great. Then, you know, I have this, this kind of black and then platinum and then white LEDs. It's, it's gonna really fit my, my, my build. Um, but then I saw, you know, checking videos about it and oh, it's gonna be cool. Then I saw this expansion pack, this upgrade kit. The upgrade t kit basically what gives you is uh, extra plates, uh, silver plates. But the plates in this case have openings on the top. You see where those blue parts are. Um, those blue parts are basically plastic pieces. Uh, you have blue and white. Uh, so you can choose actually the, the final color. But the LEDs will shine through. So it's really great because you know the memory modules are gonna be sitting here, you know, here, uh, facing the window, the window of the, of the, of the case. And then the openings there, you know, with the white, I'm gonna use the white plastic piece. It's kind of yeah, white transparent. So the LEDs are gonna shine through and you are gonna see like, you know, the lights coming to you from the window. Um, okay, let's, let's get to it. Um, so I'm gonna open this, um, there are instructions inside. So yeah, I hope it explains properly how to do everything. Yeah, of course they explain. Yeah, I think it's gonna be, I mean, I don't expect it to be too difficult. Just remove the plates and put back the plates, the other plates. So, okay, let's see if I can do it you know, almost without reading. Um, okay, so these are the plastic pieces I was talking about. They come in a plastic bag and they come like protected by this plastic um, sticker. I think it's because they are quite... Um, I don't know, weak in the middle or something. I think they can break if you are not careful, so be careful. Um, it comes also with these screws uh, and the, the, one of these uh, tools, I think it's called Allen tool, at least uh, in my home country it's called Allen. Allen tool. Um, and then the plates. As you can see, actually I'm going to show you, well, this is the plate, Dominator. So the only difference, apart from the openings, is that this says Dominator DDR4. This doesn't say DDR4, but I don't care because the important thing about DDR4 it does that it is DDR4 and you will get the speed, you know, the performance out of it. Okay, so these are the two plates. Um, I'm gonna put that away. Um, I'm gonna get one of the modules. Um, okay, okay. So this is the memory unit. You don't actually need to touch much the, the you know, it's all mostly radiator and everything. Um, so this is it. Um, so I'm gonna, I was wondering, you know, why don't they actually um, just, uh, you know, why does it, doesn't it come directly with this kind of plate and the openings? And then if you don't want them, you can buy the downgrade pack would be, right? Would be called downgrade pack. Um, okay, it's actually, I think I'm gonna do it like this. Yeah, it's actually quite easy. I would expect them to be a little bit more like, you know, tight from the factory, but okay. Seems that it is not, okay. Second one, now third one. Yeah, I can tell you guys, this is just really easy. I hope you can see, more or less. Um, Okay, I know my camera is not like the best camera, but I hope you can forgive me. If all these things, if all this about recording videos um, goes well, I may upgrade my camera, but I don't need it now. I already spent some money on my PC. Oh, that's 
interesting oh okay oh i see i see okay guys so basically yeah, yeah i was surprised but basically four of the of the screws are screws but the other ones are like female screws i don't know how to call them so basically mm -hmm. they have openings so they fit together from both sides which is great because then you only have to unscrew four times and the other ones should come out okay so now i need to remove this oh okay that's also easy i'm gonna you know i'm gonna try to pull from both sides um yeah um oh wait, there it is i don't want you know to pull from one side only and maybe break something on the other side so okay that was also easy and actually yeah actually i have no idea because i don't see the leads i will expect it them to be under the okay this is this is interesting um you see it's it's actually kind of similar i mean it's uh you know, same idea. I don't know why this plastic thing there. Some glow with it. I guess some glow coming, coming down. Oh. Okay. So I believe. I mean, I haven't seen this. I believe the leads are actually um, on the sides, um, on the sides of the module. And what this piece of plastic is doing, it's actually connecting. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it's you know transferring the light of the LEDs of the sides all over there. But then I wonder, I wonder, ah, 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 that I see now, I see now. I think this is gonna stay. I think this piece here is gonna stay to actually still transfer the the light of the LEDs all over the module, and then the piece of plastic is gonna just you know it's an opening just. So you can see through and if you put the blue one then it's not only you're gonna see through you are actually see blue instead of white okay be careful with this I don't know I mean I don't know but I feel it's quite yeah soft and it could break so just be careful um, uh, th this piece has like you know like a like a um, profile here, you know, like a little bit, uh, the piece goes up. Um, so the base of the piece goes down, and then these two pieces fit exactly in the openings of the plate. Okay, it's gonna, it's not gonna stay there really, it's gonna stay there only when you put this piece to hold it in place. Yeah. Oh, I see. Hmm, I'm gonna check. There is some dirt. I don't know if it's um, okay. I don't know if it's dirt or it's just uh, oh, okay. It is some dirt. Yeah, it was some dirt. So that's nice. Be careful with the dirt. It's not nice. Once you mount it, you don't want to have dirt. In your openings it can ruin your experience and you're completely built and then you have to throw it away you know that right no i'm just joking but um okay this is actually beautiful really i mean i'm i'm happy but at the same time i'm realizing like you know this is you know anybody can do this even a kid no nothing fancy going on here so um it's okay okay um Oh, there it goes. So I'm just putting back first the female um, screws. Again, I don't know the name of that, but um, I guess you understand what I say, right? Um, I'm putting them. Uh, yeah, maybe I should not put all of them because now when I turn it over, things gonna be. Yeah, uh, they may fall down, but okay. Well, let's see how it goes. So I will be careful now not to maybe no okay I understand no not a good idea I will have to go one by one now so you know 
put the female one, put the male one, and screw it. Because otherwise, you're gonna, yeah, they're gonna fall off place. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I don't think it's gonna matter, but you know, in all these PC builds I've seen, they always do like um, all the screws for anything, they do like in cross. So if you put this screw here, then you put the opposite on the other corner, then you come down or you come to the other one, it doesn't matter, and then you do the, the other one. You know, like you go in a cross fashion and then you screw them not too much, um, the first time, so just um, enough for them to hold whatever they have to hold. And then later on you can just yes, finalize it by tightening them. Okay, um, there we go. So, yeah, um, okay. There it is. Now go down. But it's actually really nice, guys. I mean, one thing I'm noticing, I cannot, with my fingers at least, I cannot put the screw in directly. I'm using the the tool to, you know, put the tool inside, make it fit, so you know they are kind of together. And now, with that tool, I, you know, with my fingers, I put the screw in the hole, and with the tool, I direct it down and I hold it there and remove the tool and um, yeah and then now with my thumb I just hold it in place because now it's not screwed and it's gonna fall and the other one uh, it's easier to just put there I don't know why I think it's longer yeah I think it's because it's longer the male screw and then it's just easier to put it in place with your fingers of course it will depends on you know how thick your fingers are, how many fingers you have. If you have 13 fingers per hand, then yeah, it's gonna be more difficult, I guess. Okay, um, okay, we are doing it, uh, perfect. Um, yeah, uh, let's put the last one on the other corner. Oh, again, I'm explaining things, guys, and then I do it differently. Let's use the tool. To put it in place, perfect. It's really easy if you do it like that. Seriously. Let's try it out. Um, and then screw it here. Okay. And then I'm gonna just, you know, like go a little bit. I mean, you don't, you shouldn't screw this like really tight. I don't think there, there's no point in doing that. Um, but well, tight enough so you're sure that this is not, you know, Getting loose. Okay. So there we go. That's the first module. You know, ah, really beautiful. Ah, you will see, of course, you cannot see now with the light, but once I install this in my in my PC, oh it's gonna be amazing. Seriously guys. Okay, so this is one. I'm gonna put it back um yeah into the plastic um into the plastic case, uh, you know, yes, I, again, this, oh, the other way around. These are expensive modules. I want to treat them well until I install them in my PC, so. Okay, but now I have to be careful, well, not careful, but just put it apart so I remember this is, you know, one of the already installed ones. Next module.
Okay. Um, this is it. I can now put all this back. Okay, guys. Um, this is it. Um, so thank you very much uh, for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope, you know, I don't know if it, you know, um, eliminated some of the doubts you may have about this. Uh, it's really easy. I think it's, you know, you, anybody can do this. There's not, no, there's nothing about it. Um, but this complicated. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, next video may be, I hope, uh, about my, you know, like uh, covering my uh, water cooling uh, system tubes with a white tape to make it even more white. You know, my build, my, my, my PC build is going to be really white. So thanks for watching and see you next time.